Busy week at the state capitol as lawmakers are taking up several bills with major implications for Louisiana. And today, a Senate committee advanced a measure that would strike nitrogen suff suffocation as a method to carry out the death penalty. Expanding methods of execution was one of Governor Jeff Landry's priorities during the recent special session. Also today, a House committee started discussions on a bill calling for a limited constitutional convention. Paul Murphy reports. The Constitutional Convention bill is one of the more far-reaching pieces of legislation to be taken up by Louisiana lawmakers during the current session. A House committee spent more than two hours discussing the measure by committee chair Bo Below, a Republican from New Iberia. House Bill 800 um, is, is an attempt to get our Constitution in line and bring it uh, down to its core values and principles uh, that should allow us to govern the state. The current state constitution is 50 years old. It's one of the longest in the country with more than 79,000 words. It's also been amended 216 times. Governing a state this way is, is just not the right way to go about this. It, it's clear that we need to figure out a way to make this work for the long run. This would not be a rewrite of the constitution. Instead, delegates would decide what items will stay in the Constitution and what will be placed into state law. The convention would convene on May 20th through June 3rd while lawmakers are still in session. Some committee members pushed back on the timetable. We're being forced to move so fast just so that we could start paying attention to something that we don't need to do at this moment. I'm not in favor of a constitutional convention at all because I don't know what will actually be on the chopping block. There is a provision to extend the convention through mid-July if needed. The delegates would be made up of members of the House and Senate, along with 27 chosen by Governor Landry. We have a, um, a, a tall task ahead of us. I think it's something that this legislature can tackle. If approved by a two-thirds vote of the convention, Louisiana voters will have the final say on whether to implement the reworked Constitution. Paul Murphy, WWL, Louisiana. A vote is expected next Tuesday on the Constitutional Convention. Also this week, a Senate committee is expected to begin debate on a bill that could diminish Louisiana's public records law. It would allow elected officials to keep their emails, text messages, and other documents from public view. Well, keep an eye on the progress in Baton Rouge. Look for updates on our website, our free smartphone app, as well as our social media pages.